So you may be familiar with the HK company from certain uh, guns like the MP5, the SP5K, things like that that are very iconic looking guns. Um, while there were some of the forerunners for the polymer guns and particularly striker fired, you might not be as familiar with their newer models like the VP9 and the VP9 SK. Big things to keep an eye on with the VP9 series is fully ambidextrous controls with the paddle release on the bottom and then the slide lock on both sides, as well as an easy takedown lever. This is gonna be a very easy to run gun for left-handed shooters or somebody who wants to shoot strong hand or off hand. The additional uh, benefits of the VP9 series are the three independent grip panels. So you can switch out each panel independent of the other. So if you want to custom fit it to your right or left hand, you can do that very, very easily. It's just got the one punch pin in the back and you're set to go. This is gonna be the full size VP9. They have a tactical variant with a threaded barrel and night sights. This is going to be the VP9 SK, which is going to be subcompact, about a half inch shorter barrel, and then a shorter grip, still maintaining those grip panels. This is also going to be a paddle release, fully ambidextrous controls. Big benefit here for me is that they will send you with two 10 round magazines. They will also have 13 or a 15 round magazine available after the fact, which gives you a full size grip on a compact gun. This is an awesome setup. All right, we're on the range. We're about to try out the HK VP9. Let's see how it runs. Not bad, I like it a lot. Works pretty smooth. If you need to run it left or right handed, you don't have to worry about it at all. Now we're gonna try and run that VP9 SK. This is gonna be the shorter model. We're running a 15 round magazine through it for a full size grip. If you're a fan of strike fired polymer pistols, this is definitely worth checking out. I would compare it to the Glock or the P320 any day of the week.